Alrighty guys, welcome back to Subnautica, where today we are heading to, we are heading to Delta Station, sorry, I had to stop and look that back up. So I know last episode I had, we were saying what, uh, Outpost Zero? No, that's the wrong one, we need to head to Delta Station, and if I'm correct, no, I can't pull it up, but I do know where it roughly is from my drop pod it should be like r almost to the south no it's gonna be like straight to the south from my drop pod so let's not hit that let's hit this and uh do i got everything i need on me yeah i got everything i'm gonna need so we're just gonna head straight there uh i did a little prep here before the end of last episode if you guys remember i was just kind of grabbing stuff this is kind of what I was prepping for, but I'm so glad I went and looked up like an actual guide on like where I'm supposed to go. And it said like, all right, it's Delta Station. This is where you're going to want to head and it's going to be south of your thing. And that's what it showed me here on the map when I looked up where's Delta Station. Also, I guess we're going to be going and crossing the, what is it called? The Coral Bridges. Supposedly, there's a bunch of PDAs down in here, but I'm not too sure. Because that right there is where the sea monkey nest was. So there's supposedly. I'm pushing my luck. If this is a sea truck fragment. Yep, it is. Oh, you prick. I, I, I figured I may as well scan him for as much as I can. Okay, I think that is the Delta Station Island, but yeah, that was the sea truck fragment that was over here. So there's a bunch of other ones around that we might have to come back and get. We'll slowly try and pick this uh, winding bridges area clean of stuff. Okay, I kind of got freaked out here a bit. I'm heading south, and then all of a sudden I saw these vents. Um... I'm pretty sure this is just a All minor area. Beacon signature detected. Unique identifier. Delta Station dock. Let's head Delta this way. Station. I can't wait for somebody like to comment like, "Yo, did you know there's this one Reaper right here?" And like you just went right past it. Yeah, I can't wait for somebody to tell me that because I feel like I did. I didn't hear anything, but I, you know like how it, like you get that odd quiet in the game? And it's like secretly something's about to attack you. It was like that odd calm. Also, right now we are out of the water. So we have to worry about our thermal. So I'm probably going to scan as much of this as I can. Then we're going to dive back into the water. Get our heat raised back up. And then we will head... uh. We'll head and go and uh, explore this base. I'm going to just scan as much of this stuff, though, as I can. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the purple vents I'm supposed to, like, not head to. And, uh, yeah, they're right there. That's not fun. Real, like, on my map, it doesn't show that there's one nearby. Like, technically. And technically, I've seen these things. They're not as scary as the Reaper. The Reaper definitely, like, outclasses this thing this is in, like, is terms of scariness. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Um, I guess there's a person here at the Delta base? I try not to spoil too much for me, but, you know, you can only do so much, like, to prevent that kind of stuff. Also, it looks like these things here... The thermal lily, they, uh, they warm me up. Ooh, come on. Uh, I guess there is a bit of a terrain thing there. I'm just gonna scan stuff, you know? It's always best when you can scan stuff. What's this? Is this just a light? Yeah, let's head back to one of these thermal lilies. No, we should be fine. Uh, tch, tch, tch. 
Let's... What's down here? Ooh, look at this. We got us some food. I kind of figured that was probably a bigger thing in this game as well. Like, the amount of uh, food that you get, or you have. And I guess this is technically one side of the island I could have landed on. The side where it doesn't show me the dock. But luckily we do have the dock station popping up. And that's where we had, we went. <clears throat> okay, I feel like I'm supposed to be following these red markers here. That's where we're supposed to go. It's probably not the best time to be doing this either. It's dark. But I didn't mean for it to get dark. It's just what happened. Are anything special on this island? That's just titanium. Um, somebody been doing something. Mineral detector fragment. Altera PDA. Doesn't look like that one will actually play anything for me. Um, I don't think that's the way it wants me to go. I think I need to uh, keep following this path. Or am I... You know, I think this is the path I need to follow. Ooh, cuts... Oh! Stop oh, it's right her! There, You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. Okay, so we ran into her. I completely did not realize that that was what this part was. As far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Pilot's last known position. To PDA. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff around here. We should probably start looking. What's this? Scanner room data. Thank you. Uh, Multi-purpose room? Oh, I get to scan all this stuff. Yay. I found a builder fragment. I probably have to find like five of these. Oh, bioreactor fragment. Oh, please tell me it's warm in here. Blueprint yeah, it actually is. I am actually warming up. Oh, I have to learn the locker. Ooh, jukebox. Got the chair. I'm surprised this is actually counting as warming me up. You know? Because there's like a hole right there. You would think that For the last time, this I'm is the same temperatures out there. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Sorry, I was quiet through all that, but yeah, that was kind of interesting. A little conversation in between the science crew. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for Think me. Think it out that way. 
Thanks so much for the mustache. Oh, gift. what have I done? By the way, to be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised Let's how save up there for last. wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite. <laughs> okay. Seeing someone, I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some Ooh, more. Yeah, probably head inside that here. That should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. Uh oh, uh, I need to go find a place to warm up. Come on, let me. Ah! Hypothermia imminent. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be able to make it in here. Tower maintenance log. Okay. This time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's communications tower maintenance log. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. Oh, I can pick up snowballs. If you can even call what I have a career. Ooh, I just noticed this. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. Executive Is desk? Would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. How did you get it up and running, though? I think that's what I was trying to figure out there. I might be wrong. Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the There's birds a picture have really here. done What it. the hell? I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. Okay, that's interesting. What's Sanctuary Zero? That's what my guide's telling me the next step is here after the finding Delta base. Huh. All right, I got to go like read through that more, but we're uh Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Okay, we already uh, listened to that. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, 
but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work. And I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Okay. All right, so let's take this one, play it. I know she had it in her. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. Okay, so what I'm going to do here real quick is find a safe place, which would probably be right here. Pause, and I'm going to go check my guide real quick and figure out what next I'm supposed to do, because I'm pretty sure he just said I'm supposed to just find a bunch of blueprints here. Okay, so my guide actually has me swapping over to uh, crafting a sea truck. So I guess that's something we might try and do. Um, I don't know if it's going to be something we try and do today, but I know for a fact I'm going to try and get back to base today. Okay, so we have made it back to the water, and we are just going to go. I'm pretty sure this is a safe place to be. The geysers. It's just that once you get over into the purple geysers. Just. Oh my god. What are you? Are you a leviathan? Hold up. Aren't you the things that... Yeah. Yeah. Hey, luckily, you guys seem friendly to me. Or you just haven't spotted me because you, you ate something else. But either way, I'm not going to stop going to the base until we get there now. Because I got... I, uh, yeah. I don't want to look behind me. Let's toggle the map here as well so that way I'm not using up all my... Uh, my battery. Now, I know that there's enough sea truck fragments down here in the, this place, the Twisty Bridges, that I could definitely 100% get, ooh, Oxygen. I need to head up, that I could definitely get one put together, and I think I'm going to save that for next episode, and, uh, now, I am going to start following this guide a bit, I might do a couple, like, offshoot videos, like, hey, I'm gonna just uh, build a base one of these days, you know? Even though, like, in this guide here, he does not build a base from the looks of it, because he just, he just guides, like, he keeps everything in his inventory and gets it until he's done. Returns back to this as his base. I mean, which that is something I could do. What was that woman's problem? The one in the exosuit? Like, I need to say, which woman? And what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew their terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera though. Did she meet Sam? Okay, that's something interesting. She's just my character ranting about that other lady. But I think I do know a little bit of lore about her. She's, uh... Was it? She was mentioned in the previous game. She was the gal that, uh... Popped out there and stabbed one of the Leviathans in the eyes and rode it off into the distance. While, uh... The father and the son drowned, or... I think one, one of them got eaten by a brain crab and all that. Yeah, it, it, it gets dark. But as I was saying, um, like in the previous Subnautica, I followed a guide, and I, you guys seem to like it, so I'm just going to kind of do that here as well, just so that way it's uh, it's easier on me to figure out where things are, you know? And that's the pilot's last known position, and yeah, but anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, 
please, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, anyways, this has been Gunshy Mori. Signing out.